what's going on you guys Nick here with Next on the Powers I've been promising you guys for a while that I was gonna do a video um, on my office tour and you guys have been asking me for some vlog style videos lately um, and I haven't posted anything on my vlog channel yet so this is gonna be the first kind of vlog style channel um, even though it's here on my main channel so I'm driving over to my office right now I'm gonna go ahead and go in the office and film um, kind of give you guys a tour um, of where the magic happens man all the I've got a lot of cool bodybuilding memorabilia in there. I've got a lot of cool um, computer equipment, cameras, all that good stuff. Um, and a lot of people just kind of want to know what a typical day in the life looks like for a YouTuber. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what a YouTuber's office looks like. Um, just to show you guys a little bit more of the day-to-day -day operations um, of Nick Strength and Power. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a longer video just because i got so much shit in my office, so bear with me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, here is the video. All right, guys, so I've been promising an office tour for a long time. So here it finally is. I'm going to go through all the cool bodybuilding stuff that I've gotten here. Um, so basically, this office is in my apartment. I rented this apartment specifically to put an office in it. So I actually don't live in my apartment. Um, I just work here because I just firmly believe in working um, and sleeping in two separate places, not bringing your work home for you, or not bringing your work home with you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything in here, starting on this wall over here. So actually, we're going to start with the door here. So over here, I've got a 2018 Arnold Classic jacket. Now, there's an interesting story behind this. There's only one of these in the world. So every year, the Arnold Classic makes a different colored jacket representing that year of the Arnold Classic. Now, <clears throat> this was the 30th anniversary year in 2018. Now, the company that makes these Arnold Classic jackets made this jacket specifically for me in blue, black and blue, because that's my channel colors. Um, I think the color of that year was like red, uh, but they made it in blue specifically for me. Um, and the only other blue one was for the 2014 Arnold Classic. So 2014 was the year they used blue and they weren't gonna use it again. But for the special 30th anniversary one, they gave me this jacket um, specifically with my channel co uh, colors on it. So this is like one of my favorite things in this whole office. It's just, it's priceless to me. One of a kind, one of one. So over here on this wall, this is kind of my wall of achievements. Up here we have the uh, 100,000 subscriber play button. Hopefully I'll be putting a uh, million subscriber play button right above it sometime soon. There's my college degree from Northern Kentucky University. I have a bachelor's degree in health science. Uh, my minor was psychology. I took probably 20 psychology courses. Um, so I probably should have majored in psychology. Here's my muscular development uh, article. The interview they did with me in this issue of muscular development. Um, some company reached out to me when they saw that I got published and said they wanted to frame it for me. So they've got like this custom plaque made. Let me try to focus in on that. They got this plaque and they got it mounted for me. So that was pretty cool. Then over here, I've got of course five, six copies of the magazine. Down here, I have my best uh, powerlifting strict curl record, 165 pounds at 165 pounds body weight. So I strict curled my body weight essentially up against the wall. And over here, you can't see it behind this fan, uh, but I've got the letter from YouTube uh, framed. So they send you a letter from the CEO of YouTube um, when you hit 100,000 subscribers and it basically describes you know, all of the things that are comparable to 100,000, like the sizes of cities and stuff like that. Um, so that was a pretty cool letter. So I got that framed as well. So moving on over here, that's the box that the play button comes in, the YouTube box. Then I've got the uh, replica WWE Championship belt. My buddy got me that for my birthday this year. Very cool birthday gift. I love it. Then I got this on Etsy, actually. So this is uh, obviously my Instagram handle carved out of wood. I just thought that was cool. It was only like 30 bucks. Um, so I put that up there as well. Down to this shelf, these are my powerlifting trophies from when I competed in strict curl and deadlift. I believe the one in the back is the trophy they gave me for the 165-pound uh, curl. Down here, I've got some Redcon subs. We'll get to that in a minute. Northern Kentucky University plaque. Down here, we've got the Vince McMahon Funko Pop and the fat grips that I'm giving away. Um, I'm giving away one of them this week. I'm giving away one every week. I'm sure you guys saw the Instagram giveaway post already. I'll be picking a winner for that very soon. Then on these shelves over here, I have more uh, classic bodybuilding magazines. So these are the newer ones. Over here, I have the Tom Platts one somewhere. Let's see. 
Oh, these are the Mr. Olympia programs. So I'm, you'll be seeing these in videos very soon. These are the old original programs from the Mr. Olympia in the 70s and 80s. Um, we've got an Arnold Classic program in there. Signed photo of Franco. It's got some cool stuff in here. Where is that Tom Platt's magazine? Somewhere in here I've got the Tom Platt's Corvette cover magazine. But up here, these are the bodybuilding trophies from my natural bodybuilding show. Up here we have the Europa Man. So this is basically what the Europa Supplement Company gives to distributors, GNCs, um, whatever supplement shops sell their supplements, they give this Europa Man to kind of advertise their supplements. Um, but I ended up getting my hands on one. It's very cool and it's very big. Over here, if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a replica Millennium Puzzle. Blue Eyes White Dragon Funko Pop over there. Um, and then Sons of Anarchy, my favorite TV show. There's a Jax Teller Funko Pop. And of course, we can't ignore the giant mural of Hedge that I've got back there, RIP Hedge. Now up here, there's a very cool story behind this picture. So this is a giant framed and matted picture of Lee Priest taken by David Paul, one of the Barbarian Brothers. Um, so he was really into bodybuilding photography. He published a couple bodybuilding photography books and he took this photo of Lee Priest. Now, one of my subscribers actually sent this to me Autographed, it's signed, autographed, matted, framed, the whole nine yards, absolutely for free. Didn't make me pay for shipping or anything. He just said he was a fan of the channel. He knew I was a fan of Lee Priest, and he sent me this amazing framed photo. So shout out to him for that. This is just, you know, one of my favorite things in my office. Down here we have one of the most famous photos by David Lothian, or Charles Lothian rather, Charles Lothian, the photographer. Um, one of the coolest bodybuilding pictures, I think. Again, framed and matted over here on my wall behind my TV computer setup here, which we'll get to in a minute. So let me back it up here for you guys. All right, so this is where the magic happens right here. This is the cockpit, as I would like to call it. So these computers over here are where all the videos are made on the Nick Strength and Power channel. Of course, I've got the black and blue channel colors uh, gaming chair here. Um, so this big screen over here. So basically the story behind this is the screen on this laptop right here stopped working. So I was too lazy to get the screen repaired or replaced. So I just took an HDMI cable and plugged it into a 42 inch TV, which actually worked out great because I'm really into photography, wildlife photography, nature photography. Um, and I like to edit photos on Lightroom. So I'll do that on this big screen and it works out really well. I've got some Himalayan salt lamps back there kind of some hippie stuff, but um, a lot of people believe there's research that would suggest that the color and the aura put off by these salt lamps elevate your mood. So it's kind of a hippie thing that I do over there. Um, I just like having those salt lamps around. So over here, this is where most of the work gets done for the YouTube channel. So let me sit down, show you guys some of this stuff. So there's my iMac. Um, I've got the subscriber counter. So a lot of people ask me about this and where I got it and what it's called. So this is called the Lemetric subscriber counter. Um, and basically all you do is download an app on your phone and you sync it to this via Wi-Fi. And through that app, it does a live count of your subscriber. So whenever you gain or lose a subscriber, um, it's counted on there. And I got it off of Amazon. It was about 200 bucks. It's my phone. And then recently I got this Amazon Echo View, I believe it's called. So it's basically the, the thing that you talk to with Alexa, um, but it's got a screen. So I think Alexa just heard. Alexa just heard me say that. Alexa, play. Alexa, volume up. What am I listening to here? Danzig. Yeah, you guys that know me know I love Danzig. All right, so Alexa, pause. Got the uh, model of my car, so you guys know I have a Corvette Stingray. That's just like a miniature model of it and I keep on my computer. My laptop here is just kind of my spare computer where I keep extra videos and stuff. Um, but most of the work gets done on these two computers right here. So this, typically I'll use this computer when I'm doing a recording. I've got the mic plugged into that just because uh, I'm more familiar with the, uh, you know, not the Macintosh interface, the Windows interface. I'm just more familiar with it. So I like to record videos on here but sometimes, most of the time, I'll edit them or post them from the Mac. So let's see, what else do we have here? So this mic is the uh, AT2020 USB mic, I'm pretty sure. And in addition to that, I've got the Blue Yeti over here. 
next to my roll of toilet paper. I was sick like a week ago, so I was blowing my nose all the time in here. So I've got two microphones. There's my pop filter. Let's see what else we've got over here. So also, I kind of custom made this setup over here. Let me zoom out. So it does look like a cockpit, and I kind of custom made this. So the original desk back there is an L-shaped desk. So the L-shaped desk wasn't enough for me. It wasn't big enough, so I wanted more. Um, so what I did was I just bought the same desk that was not in an L and just scooted it up next to that to kind of make this cockpit effect where I can just swivel my chair around depending on what I want to do. Um, so that's how I created kind of this workstation that I have. Then, of course, over here I've got the mini fridge, which is looking pretty ghetto with all the stickers on it, but let me open it up for you guys. Right now I've just got a bunch of... Uh, ready to drink protein shakes. I usually have a ton of pure leaf teas in here, but I'm fresh out of those. So you gotta have a mini fridge in your office, man. That's a necessity. So let's go over here. Actually, let's go to this wall right here. So right there is the mural that someone painted of me. This is me writing Hedge. I believe his name was Clint DeBerry. So he made this as a memorial to Hedge. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection on there. There, you can kind of see it better there now. So this is a giant poster memorial to Hedge that this guy made for me, which I love. Here's some more fan art that people have sent me, um, which I thought was really cool. So I got them framed and hung those up. Down here, I've got some business cards, some cologne. I've got some books down here. You know, quality reading, Arnold Schwarzenegger books, Joe Weider story, and of course the autobiography of Gucci Mane, because who wouldn't want to read that, right? So back wall, got my Nick Strength and Power banner. Now over here, I've written some articles for Muscle Sport Magazine. So of course I've got those articles framed and matted and hung them on my wall. This one I believe I just wrote about, you know, why I started my channel and what my channel's about um, and kind of introduced my channel to the magazine readers. And over here I wrote an article on Mike Menser. I'm trying to zoom in there. So I'm, I'm actually very proud of those. I really like uh, that I did that. Here's my guest chair. If I'm having a meeting with somebody, they can pull up their chair and talk to me um, like this. Over here, I've got a fake weight, which I'm gonna be doing a video on soon. Um, Fakeweights.com actually sent me a bunch of fake weights, but we'll talk about that in a future video. Very interesting stuff there. Um, so on this wall over here, of course I've got a mural, um, a giant picture of me and my two Corvettes, my 77 C3 Corvette right there, my 2016 Corvette Stingray. I love Corvettes. You gotta have a picture of a Corvette hanging in your office. Um, so Grand Funk Railroad and Van Halen's 5150. I've done videos on both of these records, um, and these are the only two records that you know have real pictures of bodybuilders on the record. So Rick Valente is on the cover of Van Halen's 5150, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Franco Colombo on the cover of Grand Funk, um, All the Girls in the World Beware, um, and they photoshopped the band's faces onto Arnold and Franco's body. If you haven't seen those videos, I made them very early on in my channel. They were kind of you know how I started my channel. So they really don't have that many views, if you guys want to check them out, look them up on my channel, um, Grand Funk Railroad and Van Halen 5150. Picture of my boys and me at the Arnold Classic. Picture of me and Zach at our first natural bodybuilding show. I found this cool uh, Paps Blue Ribbon advertisement at a flea market, and supposedly it's 85 years old, so that's pretty cool. Um, and over here, there's two really cool things right here. So right here, now you guys might be familiar with this guy's name, Rick Drayson. He runs the YouTube channel Rick's Corner. So he actually was the original illustrator and designer of the original Gold's Gym and World Gym's logo. Um, and he wrote me this and he drew me kind of a doodle of what his original Gold's Gym logo looked like. And he wrote to Nick, keep up the great work and show Rick Drayson 2018. Now the photo in the center here, this is a photo that my dad drew of Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was like my age. Um, so my dad actually met Arnold in the 80s. Let's try to zoom in on this here. And he took this picture to Arnold and got Arnold to sign it on the bottom. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but it's really rare to have any, any bodybuilding uh, memorabilia with Arnold Schwarzenegger's signature on it. So this is one of my most prized possessions in my office. Um, the only thing that I own that is actually autographed by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so I'm very, very happy that my dad gave me that. Over here, I have one of my custom weight belts. I also have a Nick Strength and Power one, but I don't think I have it in my office with me. Redcon 1 custom backpack. 
Over here, I got some Nick Strength and Power pillows on the Nick Strength and Power casting couch. So someone got me those for Christmas. Here's another uh, fan art that I need to find a new place to hang up. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe over there where the battle axe is or the whatever you call that thing. I got that at the Renaissance Festival. Thought it would look cool hanging on my wall. So over here, this is the Bodybuilding Wall of Fame. These are all bodybuilders that I've either met or they've sent me an autographed picture. Um, it's a pretty star-studded list up here. Autographed photo of Frank Zane from Frank Zane. Autographed photo of Lee Haney from Lee Haney. Autographed photo of Dave Draper from Dave Draper. Autographed photo of Ronnie Coleman from Ronnie Coleman. You got Jay Cutler. We've even got Phil Heath up here, and this was back when he only won two Mr. Olympia, so that would have been maybe in 2012 that um, Phil did that for me. Peter Putnam, the first bodybuilder I ever met. Um, he signed this for me back in 2009, maybe. Justin Compton, Evan Santapani. You've got the great Bill Pearl. Flex Lewis right there. And, of course, this one's pretty rare. Uh, autographed picture of Lou Ferrigno. Another fake weight over here. Um, and over here, I have a lot of my powerlifting medals, so it's kind of hard to see them. They're behind all my press passes, so a lot of people like to say I'm not real media and I'm not real news, but I've had press passes and VIP passes to the Arnold Classic for the past 10 years, um, so everything's pretty official about that. I've got all my powerlifting medals back there. Let's go into the closet here. Down here, I've got some Select Tech dumbbells. Uh, of course, every meathead likes to work out in their office, so I think they go up to... 55 pounds a pop Down here. I've got the new Nick strength and power hoodies not for sale, but these are some Christmas gifts I got for some of my friends In the closet here. All right. This is a mess. I Keep all the boxes of all the shit that I buy so back here is basically all my Redcon one apparel um, And also yeah, that goes pretty deep back there So every shirt in here is either Redcon one or a shirt that I got from the Arnold Classic over the years. So every year at the Arnold Classic, they give away some kind of shirt that says, you know, 2009 Arnold Classic, 2011 Arnold Classic. So I've got all of those shirts in this closet because I think they're gonna be collector's items one day. Over here, I just got a bunch of cameras and junk in there. Let's see, show you guys the other side. Move this mirror here. So over here is my merch closet. It's looking a little bit thin. Um, but I've got it organized by size, small, medium, large, extra large, three rows across. Still got a decent amount of head shirts in there. So this is just basically my mail order business over here. So I've still got a lot of them in stock, but some of them are looking kind of thin. I might need to restock those. Got my lighting over here. So yeah, man. And one last thing you guys might have noticed. Um, this is This might be the kid side of me coming out, but... Um, I do collect Funko Pops, so I've got quite a few Funko Pops in here. Um, my Funko Pop collection of, there's three Pikachus over there, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh Funko Pops. So I do uh, have a little kid side to me, I guess, collecting toys still at the age of 25 years old. So that about wraps it up, guys. That is my office. I hope you guys enjoyed maybe learning a little bit more about me um, and seeing you know, where all the magic happens on this channel right here in this office so if you guys like this style of video please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it you're probably going to see this office a lot more when i start my podcast because it's probably going to be done right here so thank you guys for watching let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the video um, nick strength and power signing out